Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Red Sea Reef Wave. If you're looking for a compact, quiet gyre pump with both an easy to use controller and Wi-Fi app control to provide a wide range of flow patterns and custom scheduling to create just the right flow for your tank while also being able to sit just under the surface of the water, then check out Reef Wave. Plus, it also gives your tank a heartbeat and I love redundancy, so extra point for Red Sea. There are lots of controllable wave pumps available that make emulating the massive yet gentle flow patterns of the ocean possible inside of our aquariums. But if your goals are to move water from one end of the tank to the other and back, create intricate and indirect flow patterns around your coral colonies, keep detritus and waste suspended in the water column instead of settling on the bottom of the tank so that your filtration can actually remove it, while also having the option to place the pump as close to the surface of the water as possible, then a gyre pump is what you're after. Plus, I mean, how many pumps can you direct the flow in two separate places at once? So flexible. Red Sea harness the versatile gyre crossflow technology for their reef wave pumps while adding their own user-friendly controller with onboard Wi-Fi app control through ReefBeat to create an easy to use flow pump that they confidently dub Reef Spec. It has all the standard features that you'd expect in a controllable wave pump, plus some other smart features that Red Sea included to make life a little bit easier. In the box, you'll find the Reef Wave pump, the Reef Wave controller, the pump extension cable, the power adapter and power cable, plus a package of spare bushings and mesh snail guards. The Reef Wave can be used right out of the box with the included controller, no download or app required, with access to five different modes, including a constant flow, uniform pulse, step pulse, random pulse, and surface pulse, as well as intensity control and feed mode. It's super simple to set up. Use the right button to select the mode and then the center wheel to increase or decrease the maximum flow. The controller also has Wi-Fi connectivity so you can download the ReefBeat app, connect your pump and gain access to being able to make customized presets and then apply them to your own customized flow schedules that will switch between different preset modes throughout the day. It also allows you to pair multiple ReefWave pumps and easily program them together, access maintenance mode as well as emergency stop functions. Setting up your ReefWave pump in the app is really quick and simple, and even if all you wanna do is pick a preset and a maximum intensity, having it connected to the app gives your tank a heartbeat. If your ReefWave disconnects from the cloud, like in the event your tank loses power from a trip to breaker or power outage, you'll receive a push notification letting you know that your device has disconnected, giving you critical time to get to your tank, which is a really nice redundancy to have. I do really like the fact that the controller with the ReefWave isn't completely dependent on Wi-Fi or app control in order to work, and that if, for whatever reason, I can't access the app, maybe I left my phone somewhere and I don't feel like going to get it, I can quickly just flip the controller back to manual mode and make adjustments on the controller physically on the fly. The controller also has a great hidden mounting bracket on the back. It's a little detail, but it's something I can really appreciate having over, say, a tab with a simple screw hole. That way, I know my controller is always being held firmly in place versus Velcro. And if I ever need to remove it, I don't have to go unscrewing anything. It's just a matter of sliding it off or popping it back on, which makes maintenance really easy. The pump itself is super quiet thanks to that sine wave technology and its dual magnet mounts help keep the pump firmly in place while reducing vibrations. It is honestly one of the quietest pumps that I've personally used. I was really surprised, especially because the 25 model I have here is pushing around 2000 gallons an hour. And uh, we've been shooting in this room the whole time with one of these pumps already in the tank there, just running in the background on random mode, ramping up and down from zero-ish to 70-ish percent and I can't hear it. I haven't heard it this whole time, which is delightful. Color me impressed. The ReefWave gyres are quite compact compared to similarly rated gyre pumps at almost an inch and a half shorter, and the outer magnet is surprisingly low profile and unobtrusive. I'm also a really big fan of how easy it is to disassemble the pump for maintenance, but I will say gyre pumps do take a little more time to clean compared to most propeller style pumps. I do really love that Red Sea makes the process easier by using color coded parts for the rotors and bushings so you can't get them mixed up when you're reassembling the pump. 
I think Red Sea has done a really great job of creating that middle ground between the other gyre pumps that are on the market. They're right in the center as far as price point goes, but they incorporate a lot of the best features of both of those other pumps. Personally, I haven't used a gyre style pump on any of my previous reef aquariums, but I have had my eye on them ever since the first gyre pump was released. And Red Sea's Reef Wave finally convinced me to take the plunge. I'm gonna be using a pair of the 25s on my XL300 that you can see behind me for primary flow, but I might be sneaking a couple more pumps in there along with them. When I swapped out the propeller pump that was in my tank for the Reef Wave for the first time and turned it on, all of the debris and particulates that were on the sand bed gently started to rise up into the water column and did it without disturbing the substrate at all, which is exactly what I want. With my shelving rock structures and minimal contact points with the bottom of the tank, I think the reef wave pumps are gonna do an amazing job of providing a ton of turbulent, gentle flow that my corals will appreciate. Now, I will say you don't have to use a gyre pump to get gyre style flow in your tank. In fact, you can do it with the pumps you already own. If you wanna find out how, Ryan has a full investigates on it, showing you how to do it with popular pumps like Tunes and Vortex right here. So just check it out. You can get that gyre on, watch all your debris float off the bottom of the tank, get all that water from one end to the other end back. It's awesome.